this concept after Omega was written in 2003 after a friend of mine was killed in a car accident. And I sort of encountered all these different things around the same time where I would, um, you know, driving past the place where the accident was in my hometown, there was a roadside cross that had been put, which, you know, you see often, you see on the highways. And, and that's essentially a practice that goes pretty far back, and that's a, a, a disconso, is that uh, marker. This first piece was a way of kind of thinking about that, and, and for my, my own uh, mourning, uh, my friend, my friend's death. The performers have instructions to specifically not play together. It's notated in such a way that um, they can play it side by side, but not together. And I think that also contributes to this, this sort of sense of floating almost. You know, like for, for me, like it'll sound good if I'm hitting those high notes quietly, if I'm, you know, playing my part well. It doesn't, there's a little bit of coordination with the players, but not that much. But and it, I think a piece like this also could often feel really different in performance because that's when it really sort of feels real emotionally when you're in the actual performance. particularly deep kind of subject and I think by having such a slow tempo and such long notes to just sit in that sound for a while that it allows for more personal um, reflection because there's nothing distracting.